Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. In this small video lesson, I would like to show you how to use VBA to extract numbers from the data. This is much like cleaning data that you get sometimes from a different source where numbers are mixed with some sort of text. So we will see how to write our own function, something like get number using Excel so that we can take only the numeric portions out of the text. For this, uh, we're going to use some sort of data like this. Now this is actual data that I have uh, faced some time back. You see, recently we ran a survey on chandu.org asking people how much salary they make. So many people entered their values in the survey, but because the survey is capturing data as text, people entered the values in different formats. Somebody mentioned the number 749,000 INR Someone else would have said US dollars 31,330. Someone else would have mentioned using a format like this 61,000. Uh, but instead of using decimal point for separation and commas for thousands, they reversed it because this is how the European formats are. Now, when you have uh, hard data like this, it might take a lot of time to clean up this data and extract only the number portion. And this is where I think VBA can come in handy. So let me very quickly show you the basic technique behind this and how VBA can help us. Okay. So what I have done is I have already written a function called as get number, as you can see here, get number of B4 and it extracts the numeric portion and places it here. Now, if you look at it, uh, once you write it, if you drag it down, it, it gives the numbers for everything except for one value. Everything else is correct. Only that value is a failure because it has two numbers, 18 lakhs or US dollars 36,000. So the whole portion was extracted. Otherwise, it is working all right, which is a very good uh, thing for me because now all I have to do is clean up only that number manually. Everything else is done automatically for me. Now, let us look at the form macro or the function and then understand how it works. Whenever you are writing a a custom function like this get number so that you could use it on Excel workbooks any workbook it is a good idea to write it as an add-in so the first thing that we would be doing is create a new file by pressing ctrl n and then uh, go to file save as and then save this file as Excel add-in right instead of Excel workbook drop down and then choose the option Excel add-in I'm not sure if you can see the Excel add-in option here. That one, right? You select Excel add-in. This will change the directory where the file is saved and it will put the file to the add-ins directory. This is the folder where all your add-ins go, the ones that you are installing. So you can write here. As you can see, I have already defined two different add-ins, my personal macros and personal macros. But just for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to add one more workbook. This is what I call as test uh, or we can just call this as get number, get number function and then click save. At this point, this workbook is saved as a macro and then right, you can close this and then you can right click on your original sheet, go to view code and you would be able to access the macro workbook here. Right now it is not visible because we have not enabled it. So the next step would be to go and uh, from either developer tab or something, click on this add ins button and then add the get number function macro to your list of available macros. And then when you go to VBA project, you would get that workbook here at get number function dot XLAM indicating this is a macro file. Now, right now there is nothing. All we have done is created a new file and then saved it as a macro add-in. So the next thing would be insert a module here, insert a module here, and then we can write our function here. So uh, in this module, we can use uh, this module. You can place any number of macros and functions, whatever you place here, they will be available for all your Excel workbooks. So once you write this function here, you can use it in any workbook, not only in the workbook where it is created. So we can just add a comment here that says all the functions would go here. Of course, here 
our intention is to only write get number function so that's why we saved the file as get number function but you can really write any function here and it will work whenever we are writing a function you need to put this as public function get number right that's the function that we would like to use so we'll use public function get number now right now I already have a function called get number so to uh, to keep things simple I'll write this as get number one or maybe get number two now whenever we are writing a function Excel needs to know what is it that this function takes as input in our case we are passing on a cell reference to it so that means uh, we are giving Excel a range so we can say from this as range indicating that that the get number would get a value uh, as range which is indicated by this variable from this get numbers job is not done when it is taking the value it has to also return something which is the numeric portion so since it is a number that can contain both decimal point values and uh, numeric portion we can just say as double indicating that this function takes a cell as a input and then it returns a, a double indicating a, a, a fairly big complicated number that can have both num number and decimal portion you can write a comment here that tells us what this term does for example you can say this function extracts the numer number from a given cell the given cell is nothing but from this okay so once you do this then you have to write any code here that would actually extract it so what I'll do is I'll just uh, write the code here and then I will explain it so here is the function that I have written this is a very simple function let me very quickly explain the three portions of it the first area that you need to know is you know you need to know is that one First, let me explain what happens there here what we want to really do is whenever I'm talking about extracting the number we need to actually scan this entire cell you can look at the cell here that I'm highlighting and then check if each character is a number each each letter each each one so we will go from left to right and we'll read seven we know that that is number so we, we are going to add it to the output and then we take four so what we will be doing is we will write down uh, something like uh, 7 then 4 is also a number so we'll write that 9 is also a number so we'll write that 0 is a number 0 is a number and 0 is a number after that you have a space which is not a number i n r three letters again they are not number so this is what our output would be 749000 so what we really need to do is for the entire length of text we need to scan one letter at a time so we are writing a for loop for one to length of from this we are asking excel if is numeric mid of that that means is that particular character at that position uh, is it a number or not if that is a number we are adding it to the return value return value is equal to return value ampersand middle of that end if so when when this loop finishes its action you would end up with only the numbers right and then we are taking that return value and then we are using cdbl which is going to convert a, a string to double 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 format so convert to double c double uh, return value we are converting and we are assigning it back to the get number two and when we write end function excel will take the value from this get number two and then put it puts it back into the cell so now let us go back and test this right so I'll just jump back to Excel here in an empty cell you could write uh, get number and you can see that when you type get the number get number two function is available and then you can put anything here for example you can put something like something 23 something else right and that should pretty much extract the 23 and then give it to us right now it is giving an error it says hash uh, value so let us go ahead and figure out why that is happening um, it could be because the return value is not initiated so maybe we can just try return value is equal to empty string and then we will save this and then we can come here and try that still we are getting error so let me just take 
So I have fixed, figured out why this is happening. It's because when we wrote the get number two within double quote something 23 something else, the function is not really working because we have told Excel that this get number two is expecting a range. It's not expecting a cell a, a value that you type in there, but it is expecting a range. So that's why what I have done is instead I have put that something 23 something else in the cell E5 and then write written that get number two from E5 and that gives us the correct value 23. So that is one minor thing which I have uh, realized. In case you want to use both ranges and hard coded value, you can use a data type called as variant and that would work. Moving on, so uh, that that extracts only the 23 from here. Instead of 23, you could, uh, there is no need to do all that. Uh, you could put anything here like 23,000.34. Uh, and then what happens is the numeric portion is extracted all right, but it is incorrectly reported. Here we are just reading the numbers, but we have discarded the decimal point. So we have not written any logic here that deals with the decimal points. So what happened is 23,034 became uh, a big number with 2, 3, triple 0 and 3, 4, right? So it's 2.3 million and 34. That's what it became, which is incorrect. So you need to fix this function until it gives the desired result, which is handle both decimal points as well as situation where a decimal point is denoted by comma and thousand separator is dot. Okay, so all these situations need to be handled. So what I have done is I have written a function like that. I'll show you that this is the get number function. You can see that uh, there are a couple of things going on here. For example, we have defined a return value as a string and then we have defined some more variables which you will understand. The important variable here is European. The first thing that we need to do is we need to check if the number is in European format or regular format. If the number is in European format, it would look like this. It will have something and then a dot and then something else and then a comma and then something else. So that means a European format 61.000 comma two zeros fits into that. So we are using a form function, say a statement like if from this dot value like like that that format, then we are making European as true. Otherwise, it will remain false. Okay, and we are also adding on error go to last because sometimes you might pass on a value. Uh, a cell but that does not contain any number and we have to cater for that and then for each character within the text from this we are just extracting the middle uh, current letter to LTR and then we are checking if that is a numeric then adding it and if if it is a decimal point and if it is not European and if the return value has more than one character in it that means we have to discard decimal points that occur before even the number began because they are not part of the number so we can just discard them then uh, we are just going to add that letter as well to the return value that means the decimal point would be added likewise if it is a comma and if the format is European then we are going to add a decimal point again but just that this time we are just checking if it is comma and then we are forcing forcefully converting it into the regular format so we can treat all of them in the same way once this all is done, we are just taking that return value and converting it into double and assigning it to get number. And that's the function. When you place it here and then when you drag it down, it will give you all the values. There is only one exception as you can see, but I'm happy with this because with uh, in, in any data, you can have one or two values that are very difficult to handle through a function. But if you can handle about 95% or 99% of the data using a, using a macro or a function, then for the remaining two or three values, you could easily clean them manually or you can set up an exception flow here. You can write an, another if condition and set it up. But uh, I'm really happy with the way this function has turned up and we can easily clean that little thing later on. So I hope you like this get number function feel free to use this. Just click on the URL. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, there is a URL below the video. So click on that and uh, you can um, 
go to the page where this file is available for download so you can download it and play with it in case you are watching this on chendu.org you know what to do just go ahead and download the file and play with it if you know a better way to extract numbers and if you uh, or if you use something else to do this feel free to share it with me because i'm always eager to learn and i'm sure there are many different ways to look at numbers and extract them so i would like to learn how you do this thank you so much for your time and attention i wish you a very great day bye bye